Today's hip and knee replacement patients are doing more, living more, and expecting more than ever before. Smith & Nephew continues to keep pace with the anticipations of this more demanding and often active patient population. With this in mind, global implant maker Smith & Nephew is pleased to offer Verilast technology, the combination of auxinium alloy with highly crosslinked polyethylene. The proprietary auxinium alloy represents the first truly new material in hip and knee replacements in over 20 years. Unlike other implants, which are typically made from either a metal or ceramic material, auxinium implants offer the benefits of both. Implants made from this exclusive material offer the biocompatibility, durability, strength, and corrosion resistance that today's high-demand patients expect to live an active and fulfilling life. Auxinium Alloy offers many key patient advantages that set it apart from other current market offerings. Unlike traditional implants, Auxinium implants are made from Zirconium Alloy. Zirconium Alloy contains extremely low levels of nickel, cobalt, and chromium. Second, Auxinium implants are designed to be more durable than devices made of conventional metallic materials. Like your natural joints, knee and hip implants can wear down over time. Because of its hard ceramic surface, this concern is greatly reduced with auxinium implants. Plus, this unique material resists roughening and maintains its smooth surface better than other materials. Its lower coefficient of friction indicates auxinium is less likely to wear down the plastic components. Moreover, likely due to this, auxinium alloy has been shown to lead to a more rapid recovery of flexion on a daily basis for patients. Next, auxinium implants are strong. As two of the largest joints in the body, our knees and hips are subjected to tremendous pressures even during routine, everyday activities. For example, the weight pressing against these joints during a simple walk can be five to six times your natural body weight. Because auxinium implants are metal, they can easily withstand forces far greater than these. In fact, Auxinium components have been successfully tested during hundreds of millions of simulated steps walking, jogging, stair climbing, and twisting. Other materials have been known to fracture during testing and in real life under these loads. And finally, because of the auxinium alloy's properties, it has been shown to be more corrosion resistant than other bearing alternatives such as cobalt chrome and stainless steel. Smith & Nephew is proud of auxinium oxidized zirconium. In fact, in 2005, Smith & Nephew became the only orthopedic company to earn the prestigious American Society for Metals International Engineering Materials Achievement Award for its auxinium technology. Other recipients of this award have included such revolutionary inventions as Kevlar from DuPont Fiber, man-made diamonds, and fiber optics. Smith & Nephew spent more than a decade developing auxinium implants and with over three quarters of a million implanted so far in patients worldwide over 16 years, it is proud to be the only company in the world that can offer this implant material in combination with highly crosslinked polyethylene to create the proprietary bearing couple of Verilast technology to surgeons and their patients. For more information, visit www.smith-nephew.com or log on to www.rediscoveryourgo.com to find a surgeon near you. Hip and knee replacement surgery is intended to relieve hip or knee pain and improve hip or knee function. There are potential risks with hip and knee replacement surgery, such as loosening, fracture, dislocation, wear, and infection that may result in the need for additional surgery. Do not perform high-impact activities, such as running and jumping, unless your surgeon tells you the bone has healed and these activities are acceptable. Early device failure, breakage, or loosening may occur if you do not follow your surgeon's limitations on activity level. Early failure can happen if you do not guard your hip or knee joint from overloading due to activity level, failure to control body weight, or accidents such as falls. Talk to your doctor to determine what treatment may be best for you.